Well, yes, no. It's anybody's really, isn't it? Shamrock Rovers have won the cup more than any other team. They've uh, going for their seventh double. 24 times they've won the FAI Cup. But if you're looking for consolation, Sligo Rovers have lost twice to Shamrock Rovers in the final. The only other shootout was between Bohemians and Derry City. And they are the two teams that Sligo Rovers beat to win their two FAI Cups. I don't know what you mean there, John, which way to go. But, I mean, to me, this is all mental. I always say penalty kicks under normal circumstances are like putting in goal. It's a state of mind. And now more than ever, the state of mind that the manager created in the players in that little gap before we went into the penalties will be vitally important. Who has the mental strength, the belief, the courage to go ahead and take this cup? Owen Doyle, who scored the first goal last season at Tala in the cup final against Sporting Fingal, put them 1-0 up, they lost 2-1. There was a penalty given away by Kieran Kelly, the goalkeeper, that let Fingal back into it. It's Doyle against Alan Manis, the Northern Ireland international goalkeeper, for the first penalty. No mistake. Psychologically an important moment. Gary Twig has the long walk up, George. Would you trust anybody better than this man, though? Gary Twig, 50 competitive goals for Shamrock Rovers in their, their final home game against Drogheda. He's only scored two goals in the cup. How is he from 11 metres? Well, well, well. Kieran Kelly has prevented it. And Gary Twig. Poor penalty, George. Tired man. Over injury, not been training. Totally acceptable and understandable. The keeper, though, deserves great credit. Went the right way and got a good hand to it. The penalty has to go in straight away. You can't follow up as it would be the case in the match. So it's 1-0 to Sligo. Twig has missed his penalty. And Alan Manis has saved. So Manis puts Shamrock Rovers right back into it. Alan Kane believe it a good height for the keeper to save if you look at this keeper gets there very very easily the, that could have been a knife in the heart of Shamrock Rovers at Sligo score there Kane has scored his two cup goals for the penalty spot but he couldn't do it here so it's still 1-0 and Pat Flynn saved two out of two for Kieran Kelly the man who gave away a penalty in the cup final last year that let Sporting Fingal equalise and go on to win has saved two in the shootout. Could it be the team of three goalkeepers win the cup? <laughs> Great save again. Got down quickly, made his mind up. Got good hands there. Conor O'Grady now only on the pitch for eight minutes, the final eight minutes of extra time against Alan Manis, who's conceded the only one to succeed so far. O'Grady, and he's put it past the post. Right. <laughs> so it's still 1-0, and we've had five penalties. We haven't seen anything like this, George, and never I could find it before. Poor Connor, bad decision, bad technique. Now it's Chris Turner. Is it to be three failures out of three? Three saves for Kieran Kelly. Chris Turner against Kelly, who must be feeling nine miles high. And he saved it too! Brilliant goalkeeping! And how did he do that? He was on his way left. He, he's so full of confidence, so pumped up, he could keep himself standing tall to the last possible minute. And that was straight down the middle, and he saved it. That was, you're right, one word, brilliant. All the other penalties dive on the right or left, been very successful at that time for some reason he decided to stand tall as if he read the intentions of Turner to knock it through the middle of the goal absolutely brilliant goalkeeping now this is the fourth uh, each side has two more penalties in the regulation Gary McCabe who was top scorer as Bray Wanderers finished bottom of the league last year against Alan Manis oh that's a great penalty that 
is a great penalty. Gary McCabe makes it 2-0 to Sligo Rovers. Shamrock Rovers only have two left. If they miss this one, it's all over. Great penalty. Calm is personified. Up in the air, away from the goalkeeper. A good dive. It has to be said by Manus, almost there, but no chance of that goal. Another extra time substitute, Paddy Kavanagh, against the goalkeeper who saved all three. Kavanagh has to score this, and the cup's on its way to Sligo, and it is! It is! Kieran Kelly has won the cup for Sligo Rovers! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! Paddy Kavanagh is denied! Not brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. It's brilliant, 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 brilliant. Four <laughs> saves out of four. And Kieran Kelly, the man who last season gave away the penalty that let Fingal back into it, has made four saves. Has there been a 100% record in a shootout like that? That is just sensational. Sligo Rovers needed only two. Owen Doyle and Gary McCabe. And they've won the cup for only the third time, and Shamrock Rovers have been denied their double. Well, you've got to feel for Shamrock Rovers. You look at the players in the centre of the pitch, they are devastated. You look up the other end of the pitch, the Sligo Rovers players, and it is excitement everywhere. A most unlikely hero in Kieran Kelly, but you have to say, it could very well be a record, George, but it is a magnificent performance by the goalkeeper of sheer concentration. He set his standards, he set his high standards, and he met those high standards. And his saves were nothing short of the word you used quite rightly was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, this is just terrific for Sligo Rovers. It's been such a match. The first occasion in the Aviva Stadium, the disappointment the champions must be feeling is immense. But you can't but feel for Sligo Rovers and what journey they have been on and to end it as they did with last year's villain this year's hero <laughs> yes, yes indeed yes indeed and i think it's a great boost for the football club itself and for professional football in the west of Ireland. indeed football at all levels in the west of Ireland. everybody is full of congratulations to shamrock rovers they put in a terrific effort here today but sligo were the better team overall they're the ones who deserve the cup on the day, it has to be said, and not even the most staunch Shamrock Rovers fans could have any arguments with that whatsoever. Kieran Kelly in the team because the regular goalkeeper Richard Brush has a broken wrist. Richard Brush with a sentimental place on the bench as a second replacement goalkeeper yes. gets his medal. But the man who stood between the post this afternoon has delivered the most stunning performance in the shootout. And the Mayo man, Kieran Kelly stands tall and denies Gary Twig, Pat Flynn, Chris Turner and Paddy Kavanagh to win the cup for Sligo Rovers. I just wonder, were they holding my man of the match, Joseph and Doe, in hand for the final penalty? But he didn't take a penalty, and I see him walking there to receive his award. Well, it all happened down on the pitch, and that's where Tony O'Donoghue is now. Paul Cook, congratulations. Tony, you were with us last year, and we took defeat well. We were very gracious in defeat. I feel for Shamrock Rovers today, but it's our day. I'm so proud of everyone in my football club, my players, my staff, my committee, and look at the people from Sligo. You know, it's a great day for Irish football. I feel like we're going to have some big battles with Shamrock Rovers, but a quality club with a quality manager, a good team. But today's our day, I'm so proud. Where did you watch the penalty shoot? No, because in you went into the tunnel. I never do, Tom. I'm in the backyard. I just want to go and see our supporters now, Tom. Before you do, talk about your goalkeeper. He saved four That's of them. It's extraordinary. It's the pens in the world. Well, well uh, even Tony O'Donoghue can't keep up with Paul. <laughs> <laughs> now that's something. If he keeps Tony O'Donoghue, <laughs> but oh. he's right. It's a great, it's a great pick up at Sligo, isn't it? And I think this will launch him, George, into being a big club again. I can see them challenging Shamrock Rovers for leagues and cups in the future. I know you said when we uh, were reflecting at the end of the league season uh, that Sligo Rovers were the coming men. It had been Shamrock Rovers and Bowles, and eventually in goal difference it was Shamrock Rovers. But Shamrock Rovers have won the league. Sligo have won the 